31st July, which is tomorrow, uh, till 25th August, from 31st till 25th, around 26 days, Venus will be in the sign of Leo. Very, very, very interesting transit and a very important one, like every other transit. Every transit is important, not just this, not the previous, not the next. Every transit is important. Every transit brings new flavors into our life. So we need to understand every transit as a very special transit, all right? Not that this is more important than the other or less important. So now, Venus and Leo, they are very contradictory energies because if you see, Venus rules the sign of Libra, where Saturn, the arch rival of the sun, gets exalted. And Leo is a sign ruled by the sun. So, now, it's like saying the planet which has the exaltation sign of Saturn is going into the enemy sign, right, of Saturn. <laughs> so, what does this mean? Now, this is not just good or bad. You know, you cannot just interpret things in like good or bad, black and white. I always keep saying this. But today, we shall discuss 10 things depending on the other transits of planets that are happening currently to some extent. I won't include much astrological details. But this will help you to make the best use of this transit. So if you are confused in regards to what will happen, the first thing you need to do is check as per your ascendant, the two zodiac signs that Venus rules in your chart. Okay, so Venus rules Taurus and Libra. So where are they falling as per your ascendant? So these two houses will experience the flavor of Leo. Okay, and it also depends, of course, where the sign of Leo is. All right, so therefore... Check these three houses. Check where is Taurus, Libra and Leo. As per your ascendant, your Lagna, your rising sign, not moon sign, not sun sign. All right. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to focus on creative self-expression. So Leo, as you know, is the original fifth sign, which is the house or the sign of creativity. You know, love, romance, artistic nature. Uh, any kind of arts, okay. So this is an excellent time to engage in artistic activities, you know, go to some, yeah, whatever, singing, dance, cooking competition, or take some classes, courses, you know, fantastic time, okay. Or Leo or other, and Leo is not just the sign of creativity. Leo is also the sign which tells you who you are as a person. So if you think that you have some specific talent, which you have not yet expressed, then you need to express that. Okay, very, very, very important. So let your unique talents shine. Very, very, very important, all right? And because Venus itself represents creativity, so it's like you are you are dancing in the tune of creativity, all right? Just be yourself and do whatever you wish, provided it does not break the codes of the scriptures, all right? Careful with that. <laughs> Number two is to strengthen your romantic relationships, your love life, your relationship with your spouse. So it's a great time to take a vacation, go somewhere, have a nice time with your spouse, um, be a bit secluded, away from the stress, work life, and have a good relationship. So this is a now this is like a double-edged sword because Venus, when transits Leo, can bring a lot of ego. Now, actually, what happens? I'll tell you. Venus in Leo does not exactly give ego, but it makes a person very it, it makes a person very adamant about their needs. So if Venus transits Leo, which it will from tomorrow, and you suddenly start to see, oh, what is happening? You know, my spouse is behaving so adamantly. So then you have to understand it is not that that person is behaving adamantly, but it is some very strong need that you are not addressing. And as a spouse, it is your duty in best of your capacity to address the needs of your spouse. So try your best and uh, try to satisfy your spouse because nobody can satisfy anybody 100%. Only God can do it. Only Krishna, Vishnu, Narayan can do it. Nobody else, all right? But we are human. <laughs> so we have to, we, we still have to, strive and try in our best human capacity all right you cannot escape it so try your best number three is you can indulge in luxury and um, extravaganza to some extent all right so now this will depend on your chart what is going on you know if you are running dashas of natural benefits then this will be more if you are running dashas of you know natural malefics then uh yeah this uh, may not be the best uh luxury experience for you 
But suppose you are running, you know, Venus Dasha itself, Venus Mahadasha, Antar Dasha, or you know, Jupiter or something like that, or even Mercury and Moon will do the job, then you might experience luxury more. Okay. And it depends on the houses that Venus rules. So for example, if Venus is your fourth lord, you might you may indulge in some luxury related to your house or your car. Okay. So it can be like that. If Venus is your first lord. It can be some luxury related to, you know, your body, your appearance, you know, like that. Okay. So that is how you can judge actually, depending on the lordships. Now, as you know, Jupiter is in the sign of Taurus. Okay. So now if you try to, uh, you know, kind of mix these two, then it shows you might indulge a bit with your family also, you know, in too much food and you know, luxuries and creativity, arts and all this. Okay. And you might want to stabilize down things. So you might want to stabilize your existing relationship. Okay, This is very much possible. So because Jupiter is in the sign of Taurus, which is again the sign of Venus. So it will expand your creative traits and you know, optimism, growth and new opportunities. So capitalize on this. Okay. <clears throat> now, number, uh, number six, Saturn, as you know, is in the sign of Aquarius, right? So, if you try to couple this, this dynamic relationship, you know, this is a 1-7 relationship, which means Saturn and Venus are mutually aspecting each other. Okay, so now this can be plus and minus both. So, this can encourage, you know, like creative self-expression, but not at the cost of harming others. So, if you are doing things in a way that makes you happy, but it makes others miserable, then you have to change your line. Otherwise, this problem, all right? So be careful with it because Saturn's aspect can give you, can make others miserable around you sometimes, okay? So for example, if you are staying in a shared room, you know, a shared house, you know, 3 BHK, for example, and, you know, you are just going on playing loud music. It's disturbing somebody else. So that is not good. Okay. And you may become very arrogant and adamant because of that. So that could be a danger. All right. Now, Mercury will be retrograde. This is number seven. Okay. Mercury will be retrograde. So this is very important. When Mercury goes retrograde, then, yeah, things are a bit confusing sometimes. So Mercury retrograde and Venus in Leo can force you to do things which you sometimes, uh, which you might regret later on. So when you are doing something, like for example, you might have a tendency to enroll yourself into, you know, too many courses or, you know, uh, too many uh, subjects, too many themes. Okay. So do one thing at a time and don't just, don't just spill it everywhere. Okay. I mean, it's like, okay, I will do this, that, this, that, this, that. And after 25th August, you realize you did nothing. All right. So this is not good. So take one thing and master it. And yes, Mercury is retrograde. So that will also affect. Uh, so it is recommended you don't sign, you know, like suppose you are joining a dance class because of Venus in Leo. It's recommended you don't sign it for the next uh, 30 years. All right. <laughs> you should try unless you are very sure, you know, suppose you are taking a gym membership, make sure it's not like five years or, you know, two, three years. Maybe you can say, okay, I want to take, you know, one month, two months and then see because if Mercury is retrograde, you may be tempted and you may fall prey to some offers, okay? And Venus represents, you know, your physique and your appearance and all this, okay? So this is very important. Now, uh, another interesting thing is with Mars, okay? So if you see the, the dynamics between Mars and Venus now, you know, it can uh, make you very aggressive at times, okay? It can make you... Uh, pursue somebody uh, from the opposite sex very aggressively and you may come ac across as you know a characterless person or you know somebody who is not sense control all right so uh, be a bit con conscious and cautious with that okay so mars is not directly helping venus here so you have to take care of your aggression or else you might have to cut a sorry face later on all right so be careful with that now sun in Cancer and then in Leo. So as you know, the first 15 days, the sun will be <clears throat> in the sign of Cancer and then it will go to Leo, right? So here, uh, sun is kind of helping Venus. 
so this is your time to bring out the original true self okay so bring out the original core within you and try to see what you want to do in life try to find your purpose and try to find meaning in your activities and don't just do things because somebody is telling you or you know you saw somewhere so because sun is helping cancer and leo both are you know signs of highly creative energies so this is the best time for creativity and last but not the least venus and the sun <laughs> interesting sun and venus will be together right for 10 days from around 15 uh, till 25th so this is a period where you might have serious clashes with your spouse or you know with your uh, it could be with some other females okay even if you are a female or it could be with your sister or you know some female nurse or somebody like that could be with your uh, like you know motherly personalities also or somebody from your father's side okay so therefore you need to understand that when you, because see what what happens is when you are dealing with venus in leo it is like you are dealing with a lady who is behaving like a man. So then it's like a very confusing energy for that lady and for you also. Even if you are a male or a female, it doesn't matter. But in general, females could go through this. Okay, so therefore, there could be a temporary change in dynamics. Okay, so therefore, this is something you need to watch out. So the conclusion is, this is the best time for creative self-expression and originality and trying to understand who you are uh, and at the same time do not cross your boundaries because saturn mars are not helping this placement all right and of course be respectful with your spouse and address their needs to the best of your capacity all right thank you so much for your patience if you are new then don't forget to subscribe to the channel may god bless everyone all right thank you so much